the Redeemed Christian Church of God in Oklahoma City. This is the Open Heavens for March 19th, 2021. Open Heavens, a daily devotional written by the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, our Father and the Lord, Pastor E. A. Adeboe. We thank the Lord Almighty for His unfailing love and for His wonderful deeds towards us, His children. And we pray that even as we go into the study of His Word today, we shall be strengthened by His Word in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. The title of today is The Soul Winner May Be Insulted. The soul winner may be insulted. So that is just something we need to know and we need to encourage ourselves in. You know, yesterday's top uh, devotion was about evangelism, going out to win souls. And here today we are talking about the fact that the soul winner may be insulted. But we'll see even in the course of the devotion that all of this should not deter or discourage us from soul winning. Matthew chapter 5 verse 11 to 12 is the bible reading with verse 11 being the memory verse and i read matthew 5 11 to 12. blessed are you when they revile and persecute you and say all kinds of evil against you falsely for my sake rejoice and be exceedingly glad for great is your reward in heaven. For so they persecuted the prophets who were before you. Amen. Even from those two verses, we can see that even when we are reviled, when we are persecuted falsely and accused of things falsely, just for the sake of the gospel, we should not be sad. We should not be discouraged, but rather what should we do? We should rejoice and be exceedingly glad. You know, I know that that's, you know, when you talk about the fact that one is being reviled, persecuted, accused falsely, you know, the natural reaction will be sadness or pain. But what our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ is encouraging us is that no, all of those should, should not put us down. Rather, we should rejoice and be exceedingly glad. Why? Because great is our reward in heaven. So we should not allow persecutions, insults, like we're about to, that we are looking at today, which is going to the topic, we should not allow that to make us sad, but rather we should rejoice in him. And you know what? When it comes to this winning souls for Christ, we have to develop a thick skin. That is what our daddy, the Lord starts his devotional with, that for you to win souls for Christ, you need the Holy Spirit, first and foremost, but you also need to, uh, and, you, and you will have to develop a thick skin. And why do we need to develop a thick skin? Going back to the Bible reading we just read, there will be persecutions, there will be mockeries, there will be insults, just like the, the, the title says, the soul winner may be insulted. But all of this should not discourage us. Because we need to ignore those insults and continue to go after the souls. So let's, we should not allow insults, ridicule, mockeries, persecutions to di discourage us from still going after souls. That, and that's why we need the Holy Spirit and a thick skin to do the work of evangelism. Because what happens? What will happen if somebody mocks you, ridicules you, or insults you? And you fire back or you respond back maybe with insults or with mockeries or ridicules the truth the thing is that such a person one of the things they will likely tell you is that oh i thought you were a christian why are you firing back at me because they know that christians should not do such a thing and wait when when you are trying to win a person for christ and you have responded by firing back or by insulting back then the probability of the person listening to you again is, is very, very, very low, or even zero. And which means you may not be, you may not be the person that will be able to lead that person to Christ because you've already fired them back or insulted them back. So we shouldn't do that. Another thing we should not do is to stop preaching 
just because people have insulted us. Because when we stop preaching, we make the devil happy. Because the Lord God Almighty does not want any soul to perish. We even mentioned that yesterday. He wants all his true, every soul to be saved. So when we make a decision to stop preaching because of insults, we are only making the devil happy. So let's make sure that we don't fire back at insults when we are insulted. And at the same time, we should not stop preaching because of insults because we still need to continue this work no matter the mockeries and the persecutions. You know, that, that, that Lord was given an example of um, somebody uh, was, he was preaching to and the person eventually gave his life to Christ. But the, when Adai Lord went to preach to him initially, you know, he was insulting him and telling him that he has a PhD in mathematics, but he's, he has become a pastor and he's only going to, he's using that just to, you know, take money from poor women and from students. And even the miracles he's performing, he's actually consulting which doctors, you know, to perform them, you know. And, but what was Adai Lord's reaction? He was just smiling. And later, after this person became born again, he mentioned the fact that that day, that period when he was more or less mocking him and insulting him, based on what I just mentioned, he, 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 he felt so bad in himself that the, the, the mere fact that Adele Lord was smiling at him, despite the fact that he was insulting him because Adele Lord came to um, preach to him, he said that was just killing him and making him angry that why is this person smiling? when I'm intentionally trying to mock and insult him. But again, it goes back to the fact that Adai Lord already had that understanding that we cannot afford to feel insulted when we are preaching gospel because we, those souls need to be saved at all costs. And talking about these insults too, it also means that when we go to evangelize, we need to drop our ego. Or whatever achievements, whatever level of education, whatever the degrees we have, whatever our accomplishments, we need to drop them. Because if we don't drop those things, we might not begin to feel that, how is this person that is younger than me, or not as qualified or educated as me, why is this person this being disrespectful to me? That will come up. But when we have dropped all our egos and achievements, accomplishments, before we go to evangelize and just humble ourselves and drop all of that ego, ego, then whatever they say will not mean much to us because we know that we are doing God's work. So that's also very important because like we said, insults may come, but when we have dropped all of these things, all our accomplishments, then we, we, are, we are not going to be deterred by that, but we'll keep on doing the work of evangelism. And again, you know, earlier we mentioned the fact that the devil Another strategy of the enemy to stop people from evangelizing is through these insults that we are talking about today. But winning souls is warfare. It's warfare because the, 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 the devil, he, he does not want anybody to leave his own kingdom, to go into God's kingdom. So this thing is warfare and he's going to use every strategy possible to make sure that people are bound in his kingdom. And that is why we cannot, if the devil will not let go, of the souls that he has in him, and this is a serious warfare, this is evangelism and so is serious warfare, we also should not let go of these souls because maybe we have been insulted in the past or because we have been mocked in the past. We should not let go. We should keep on fighting so that we can snatch souls even from the hand of this strong man that wants them to be in the kingdom of hell forever. So, and as we do that, may God help us. And the final chart that that little has is that when you compare the rejoicing that will happen in heaven over the one soul to the insults, your ego will not matter. So when the insults come, when the mockeries come, even from those you are preaching to, just remember that, again, the Bible reading we read said, rejoice and be extremely glad, and remember that it will be all be worth it if that soul can make it to heaven, and you will not even have to think about all those insults that you received. And may God help us in Jesus' name. Amen. The prayer point is that, Father, as I go out to preach your gospel, don't let anything discourage me in Jesus' name. Father, Lord, as we, your children, go out there to preach your gospel, we pray that, Lord, let nothing, let no insults, let no mockeries, let no persecutions, Father, Lord, discourage us in the mighty name of Jesus. That will keep pressing on with this 
task, this great task and commission of winning souls in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we are prayed. Amen. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you tomorrow by God's grace.